Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited today because for you, I have a cool weight loss tip and I want to tell you the weight loss power of green tea. Yes, green tea and how three cups a day can help you melt those pounds away. So stay tuned. Originating out of East Asia, green tea or Camellia sinensis comes in various forms. Some you may have heard of, right? Green tea, black tea, white tea, or oolong tea, they're all derived from the green tea plant. Eating health beverages traditionally used by Chinese culture for medicinal purposes to treat wounds or reduce headaches. Green tea is the most sought after way to lose weight. It's rich nutritional makeup and powerful antioxidants are the responsible for helping you lose those pounds. Many studies have shown that green tea can help assist boosting your fat burning mechanism to improve metabolism and help you lose weight. How can green tea help you lose weight? So here's how green tea can help you lose weight. It contains two very special ingredients. The first ingredient you may have heard of, I'm sure you've heard of it, caffeine. So caffeine is this known stimulant that provides energy. You find it in coffee, but here we're talking about it in green tea. And then our second ingredient is this catagen, which is a chemical found in the green tea. And it's for short, it's gonna be called EGCG. So we have caffeine, antioxidants, and this special chemical EGCG, which exhibits fat lowering effects. It increases the signal of hormones to break down fat. And once the fat is broken down, it is released into our bloodstream to be used as energy, thus helping us burn fat and lose those pounds. tea really reduce harmful abdominal fat so we know fat can be stored in various regions in the body the arms the legs the bottom everywhere but it's most important when it's stored around our abdominals or the stomach region because we have our vital organs there we have our heart our lungs and things of that nature to liver so when the fat is stored on our organs or around our midsection it is the most dangerous and harmful place to have fat stored. This is why green tea is really important. Some studies have shown that on average, people who drink green tea lose body fat in their arms and their legs and around the midsection. Here it is again, the midsection is very, very important because we have those vital organs and that visceral fat around those vital organs is most harmful. When investigating green tea beverages, researchers have also found that green tea extract can be very helpful in reducing belly fat. They found that in Chinese adults with a high proportion of abdominal fat who took green tea extract reduced the amount of visceral fat found in them. Everything. Some people say that it's best to drink their green tea first thing in the morning or at night. But to obtain the full benefits of antioxidants in green tea, the most ideal time to consume your green tea is in between your meals. So you may want to have a cup in between breakfast and lunch or between lunch and your evening snack or between your evening snack and dinner. The green tea promotes weight loss in two ways, by boosting your metabolism and preventing fat absorption. But to obtain the weight loss benefits, some say that it's most ideal to consume your green tea with your meals. Although many people may say, yeah, I drink my green tea first thing in the morning, it's perfectly fine, but in the morning on an empty stomach is not recommended. Most times green tea, the most potent versions, have caffeine. So drinking caffeine on an empty stomach can lead to dehydration and release gastric acid. And those are two things that we do not want from drinking our green tea. best part preparing your green tea now contrary to popular belief you do not want to boil your water for your green tea boiling the water releases oxygen into the air which is important to maintain when preparing your green tea 
And also, you never want to use water that you previously boiled because the oxygen properties have already been lost. Instead, bring your water temperature to about 77 to 83 degrees Celsius or 170 to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. That's boiling your water for about two to three minutes. You wanna see tiny air bubbles, but not to a full boil. Then you also want to not boil the tea leaves. This is very important. You do not want to place your tea leaves in the bottom of your kettle or whatever you're boiling your water in because you're gonna lose all of the nutritional value of your green tea. So green tea comes in many, many, many forms. You can get it in a powder form, in the original tea leaf form, you get it in loose tea leaves or in tea bags. You also have the option of using supplements for your green tea. Many studies have shown that green tea, whichever form that you choose, still has its nutritional value and its weight loss value. So you're not losing anything. It's totally up to you what you choose and how you choose to drink or take your green tea. To sweeten or not to sweeten. If we're looking to maintain or lose weight, try to stay away from the sweeteners but if you must have a sweetener I suggest or what is suggested is stevia which is also a plant a plant-based sweetener um, it's calorie free and you still maintain those benefits of your green tea without the weight gain now honey on the other hand is also a natural sweetener but adding it to your green tea if you're drinking it with or topping it off with your oatmeal or using it somewhere else in your diet could be adding additional sugar that you may not want in your diet so just be very cautious if you can't take it um, or drink green, green tea without a sweetener supplements may be best for you so that you don't add any extra unwanted calories and kind of prevent those weight loss benefits that you were receive if you were to drink it plain getting close to summertime and many of you wish to continue drinking your green tea by receiving the health benefits of it and you can if you steep your green tea long enough to release its wonderful nutrients you can drink your tea all year round hot or cold the only minor change that you will see is the amount of caffeine in your tea hot tea contains much more concentrated caffeine than your cold tea so consume green tea at least three times a day to receive its benefits Steep and enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe.